Welcome back to another Top 5 Plays, Week 259. Before we jump in, I just wanted to remind you guys that the number one spot always gets that sweet RP prize. Remember, if you make the plays, send them in to us. Now let's check out those plays. At number 5, we have Cannabis Kresik on Lucian. Cannabis is defending his turret against a Gnar two levels above him, and the duel is about to begin. Gnar's Rage Bar is about to send him into Mega Form, so he begins to dive. Lucian predicts the ultimate, flashes and heals. He uses Relentless Pursuit, Pop Jukes Gnar's Wallop. He gets hit by a boulder and gets some damage in before dashing away. Gnar flashes and the Coaling comes out, and the final boulder barely misses. The duel is won. Take a look at the great read on Mega Gnar into the fancy Pop Juke fadeaway. Lastly, the Coaling for the finish. At number four, we have some Thresh plays from Extra Kill. Braum is caught out in the open, so Extra catches him with a death sentence, followed up by Vayne with a condemn. Braum pops his shield, but Vayne activates Final Hour. Braum counters with the Glacial Fisher, but he gets exhausted and goes down. All right, round one is complete, but round two increases in difficulty. Jin is back in lane, and he gets a good amount of burst damage on Vayne after landing Deadly Flourish. Jin backs off and begins the curtain call. Vayne takes the first shot, second goes to Xra, and dodges the third and flashes the fourth while Vayne condemns the oncoming Yi. Rise joins the chaos and forces Vayne to flash. Extra is stuck until he lands Death Sentence on Rise. Just as Master Yi Alpha strikes him, he boxes in place and pops the lantern at the last second, making for the ultimate escape while Lee Sin takes care of the rest. Again with the challenger plays, we welcome back Eden Fox at play number three. Eden Fox is hanging out mid until Lucian and Ari appear, so Eden heads to the river, jukes the charm, orb of deception, and piercing light. Lee shows up and she jukes his sonic wave and lands a massive shockwave into a dissonance. Eden gets dragon rage and Lucian goes down to ignite, triggering dangerous game. Lee flashes, but Eden bursts him down, but she's not done yet. She wants that fox. Shaco's going to be joining this fight and throws his two-shift poison at Ari. Eden jukes charm and orb, speeds herself up and grabs the kill with command. At number two, we have Derp Pentelpilf on Bard. The fight is about to break out in the mid lane, and Derp's Yasuo gets caught out, so he casts a beautiful Tempered Fate and catches four enemies. One mid air, Lucian Collins Gragas cast, and Bard lands a Cosmic Binding on Tristana and Scion. He escapes to the side with Magic Journey, but he's going to be coming back and lands another Cosmic Binding and takes out Vladimir. Thresh drags him in with a death sentence, but this only helps Derp to land another Cosmic Binding that leads to his double kill. Scion is next, and they get the ace. Don't worry, he gets away. And at number one, we have I Totoro on Ziggs. The blue team is doing Baron, but they are pretty low, so Totoro throws his Mega Inferno Bomb and takes out Alistar and gets the blue team low. He satchel and mines Wukong, takes him out and blindly flashes the wall and takes Baron as well with his empowered auto attack. He bombs Bane just before getting condemned. Cassiopeia ignites Ziggs and vice versa. It starts to look grim until Janna Monsoon's healing Ziggs to buy him enough time to acquire the Penta. And for our bonus clip, we have predicting on Azir. It's a team of Azirs against a team of Yasuos on all for one. Yasuos get pushed with Emperor's Divide into another Emperor's Divide and get sent into orbit. And sadly, they come back down, floating down. Look at this again. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm going to fly like an eagle into the sea. Fly right into the future. That's going to do it for us this week, guys. Thank you so much. And one more thing, if you guys are going to be going to GexCon in July, Brandon and Parv are going to be going, not me. I'm a loser, man. I, I'm not going to be going. But those guys are awesome, so make sure to run into them, talk to them, and all that jazz, man, all right? We'll see you next week, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you again. I'm going to fly. Time keeps on ticking, ticking.